from 1984 to 1991, BMW 3 Series, so-called E30 chassis. Basically, you're going to look up a procedure on how to remove blower motor, and that's where I'm at right now. This is the spare assembly, and I still have my old assembly that doesn't work for some reason. I can hear the motor spinning, but it's not moving the wipers. Also, it broke right here. See that? The thread sheared off. See, this thread sheared off. So, I have to replace it. I have the good replacement that I tested. So, in order to get to that, you would uh, look up procedure on how to remove the lower motor and the plastic around it. It looks difficult, but it's not that difficult if you use the correct procedure. So, you get to the point where you take out the blower motor the resistor obviously the cover before that you move the, those plastic pieces aside you don't want to break them then the next procedure is to remove the stereo yes remove the stereo and disconnect these arms behind the stereo usually this these arms always break right here at the joint see that right there over time it'll, it'll just shear off because that motor is gonna rip him out anyway so this one is good and this one is ripped out then what I did is use the screwdriver to pry right here you're gonna make, the, make this one get out of the joint then you're going to use the same procedure on this one inside. Then it's going to come out like this. It's going to come out like this. On both sides. sides. Then you got those clips right here. The young clip and two in the back like that. This one I have to use the small screwdriver to um, unclip it. Then this comes out. Now, what I have to do is unbolt the motor. You see the 10 millimeter screws right there? One nut and three screws. Using small 10 millimeter wrench, unbolt that and remove the wiper motor from the bracket. Now what I like to do is clean this uh, evaporator core. Usually dirt gets inside of here and I attach a small hose to the vacuum cleaner and I vacuum all the dirt from underneath there. Unfortunately E30 doesn't have the fresh air intake filter. This is the recirculation air flap motor. There's two of them. That's where you disconnect those rods behind the stereo. And I found the common problem with these is that these screws get loose over time and then this starts spinning around, messing up the, the whole system. So I disassembled the, the motor that was bad. And as you can see, the plastic gear teeth are sheared off. And this has a metal cover, and the replacement that I have has the plastic cover. And I know for sure this one has the metal gear, that's why this one never fails. And this one is made in Germany, and this one is made in Canada. Testing in the, the new assembly. You can manually move this with your hand and set it up in this position, unbolt it. The motor from the assembly put the assembly back in put the motor back in bolt the motor the same way and then put everything back together that's how you do it 
obviously installation is reverse of removal but because I don't have the, this plastic sleeve on my old motor what is important is to put put this uh, protective plastic sleeve on the motor before you install it back in there what I did is enforce with a piece of wire these flaps usually you need 30 this breaks off and then you lose the function of closing and opening recirculating flaps see I enforced it here and put the wire through so it wouldn't rip it out any longer see now all I gotta do is put this back in there I install both of the flaps Now I gotta install this. Solving problems. <laughs> Yeah, BMW 3 Series Z30 is the best car ever made. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.